Hi everyone, I'm Chef Susie with Escoffier Online. Welcome to our session today. We're going to be plating up some desserts today, some simple desserts, which are the same desserts which you've made in the program so far or you're going to make. So we're just going to do a couple of plate up ideas. We're going to be having a little bit of fun. But first I want to mention the contest and I'm sure that everyone knows about it. But it's going to be running until the end of July. So get all of your assignments in before the last day in July so you can get some entries into the raffle for the iPad mini. And I have the iPad mini here. It's in the box. It's all ready to go to be mailed to the lucky winner for every assignment that you submit and pass in the month of July, you'll receive an entry into the raffle for the iPad mini. And as you can see, it's pretty small, super cute little thing. I have one myself. I really love it. You can use Safari on it. You can work on your assignments and your reading using your iPad mini. What's nice is you can take it with you. It's easy. It'll slip in any small bag and you can work on your assignments or your reading, your coursework, wherever you are. And it's also fun to do a lot of other things on. So um, keep bringing those assignments in so you can have a chance at winning the iPad mini. And we're gonna be doing the drawing about a week after the last day in July. And keep in mind that we have our school graduation coming up also on August the 1st. And that's going to be a commencement ceremony with all the graduates. So if you finish by the end of July with your programs, you'll be in the commencement ceremony, which is going to be a lot of fun. Your name will be shown on the screen as a graduate of Escoffier Online. And keep in mind, too, back to the contest, we're going to be giving Escoffier branded chef jackets to the top five students that have submitted and passed the most assignments. And We'll get your name embroidered on it too, so you can brand yourself with Escoffier Online. So bring those assignments in. It's going to bring you closer to graduation and closer to your chance in the iPad mini and your chef jacket. So knowing all that, let's get started with our plating of our desserts. So we're just going to be doing a few simple desserts today. But first, we're going to work on our decoration for the dessert. I've got some chocolate melted. I need to stir it real quick. Okay, so my chocolate is all melted and it's ready to go. And what I'm using today is I'm just using a coating chocolate. You can use regular chocolate, but you've got to temper it. And you can do that by seeding. You can take your chocolate and warm it and add little pieces of chocolate to cool it down. But for today, we're going to be using this chocolate coating because it sets up really well. It's super easy to work with. If you're not familiar with chocolate, definitely start out with this. There's no tempering needed. You just melt it. And then you can go ahead and use it right away. And what's nice is it's going to set up quickly for you. And you can even leave it at room temperature to set, and it'll set up in a matter of time. So we're going to make a few decorations with this um, coating chocolate. And then we're going to set these aside, and we're going to work on our, some of our plate ups. And then we'll come back, and the chocolate will be set and ready to go. Okay, so I've got my pan lined with my parchment. And what's nice about using um, melted chocolate or coating, you can dip your cookies in this and you can pipe with it. There's so many things. So I've got a simple shortbread cookie that I've cut in a long rectangular shape. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be dipping my cookie in some chocolate this is going to give my dessert a nice crunch. It's going to give it a really finished look. So I'm using kind of a small bowl here, and I don't have a lot of chocolate. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of tilting the bowl a little bit to dip the cookie on an angle. And we can also dip half of the cookie as well. And keep in mind, too, that you can sprinkle some nice chopped nuts on these as well to finish them off and give them a little bit of extra crunch. 
So we've got some real nice looking, very simple chocolate dipped cookies. So next we're going to be doing a little bit of piping. So I've got my paper piping bag and I'm going to be filling it with chocolate. You can do this with white as well. This is a nice milk. And do we have any questions? I'm not hearing anything so far. So I've just got a piping bag that I made with some paper parchment. I just twisted it up. And I'm going to be cutting off the end. We're going to be making just a few chocolate decorations with this. And then we'll be putting them on our dessert. And we have a question. Is that just melted? Chocolate, nothing added to it. The question is, is this just melted chocolate with nothing added? It is. It's just a melted chocolate coating with nothing at all added to it. So I'm going to be doing some piping. And what I'm doing here is I'm just doing a real simple grid. I'm just kind of going back and forth. And then I'm going to be piping one way and then the other. Super easy thing to do. And you can also do kind of more, a little bit more decorative, some flourishy type of piping. They're very simple techniques. And what you can do too is you can draw your design on a piece of paper and slip it under your parchment, maybe tape it down so it doesn't move around. And that's a good way to practice your piping as well. So we're going to be doing a few of these decorations. And be careful that you're making these thick enough, otherwise when they pull off they'll break a little bit easier. And we're going to just do one more. And then we're going to set these aside. OK, so we've got a few chocolate decorations. And we're going to leave these set up. And does anyone have any questions on anything? Or do you have any questions on your assignments before we carry on? See, and our chocolate is already starting to set a little bit. So we're just going to set these aside. Seth, I might need these in the fridge because it's hot. OK, very good. So I've got a few desserts that we're going to be plating today. So we've got the opera cake, which is a really classic French dessert. It's really a mocha mousse short. I've got the cheesecakes that we did for the assignment. And the cheesecakes, I just made these in a little muffin cup. And I put a little graham cracker crust on the bottom. And I just um, baked these until they were set. We've got a real simple bread pudding cake. And then I also took the ganache from the assignment. And I took a little bit of yellow sponge cake. And I froze them, and then I dipped the sponge cake in the ganache. And what I did is I coated it with a fine coconut, which is sometimes called a macaroon coconut. It's not as stringy, as flaky as a regular coconut. And you can buy it in the store, and it's just a fine shredded coconut. And I really like to use this a lot because um, it just looks a little more elegant, but you can use the other coconut. You can also, if you can't find this fine shredded coconut, you can pulse it in the blender a little bit. The regular coconut, you won't get the same effect, but it'll be close. So we're going to be plating these few things. And along with my cookies, I just have the um, classic kolachki, which is a Polish dessert. And it's um, like it's a cream cheese dough. And I filled these with a little bit of apricot, and I rolled them up and baked them, and then I rolled them in some granulated sugar. So these are going to add a little bit of crunch to our desserts, and um, they also add a little bit of extra color as well. So let's go ahead and get started with one of our platings. First, we're going to do the bread pudding. So the bread pudding is um, it's a classic dessert. 
And it's super instrumental in the pastry kitchen because you're really using some of your leftovers for the bread pudding. So it's a good way to utilize some of your danishes that were left over from the days before. You can chop them up and toast them. You can make bread pudding pretty much any flavor or in any shape or form. You can put it in small ramekins. You could put it in larger pans and bake it and then cut it. So it's a real versatile thing in the kitchen and it's very cost effective because you're going to be using up some of your baked goods that have staled a little bit, but they're still super delicious with your sweet doughs and your jams and your icings on them. So it's super nice blend. And you can make the bread pudding kind of cakey-like by putting a little bit less of the egg mixture in it, or you can make it a little more custard-like by putting a little bit more of the egg mixture in it. And they're typically baked in a water bath, nice and slow. And the egg mixture is just whole eggs and sugar with a little bit of cinnamon and some half and half cream added. So um, super easy. I'm sure a lot of you have made it before and maybe some of you haven't, but it's a real good dessert and everyone loves it and you can serve it for brunch, lunch, or dinner. So knowing that, let's get started. So the caramel goes super well with the bread pudding cake. And we're just gonna be doing some of our lining that we talked about earlier. And do we have any questions on anything so far? Caramel is a nice consistency. It's holding its shape. It looks super pretty on the white plate. And then I'm just going to be putting my bread pudding right onto the caramel. And then we're just going to do a little bit of dotting with our raspberry sauce to add just a little bit of color to the plate. So have fun with your plated desserts and you'll be sure to dazzle your friends and family. And we have a question. Um, you're going to have more questions about the chocolate. Um, two of them are, do you ever need to add anything to chocolate to help it set up hard? And also, what kind of chocolate was used for those decorations when you did the piping again? So okay. We have a few questions about the chocolate. And one of the questions is, is do you ever need to add anything to chocolate to help it set? If you temper your chocolate correctly, you won't have to add anything to help it set. And some people in like warmer climates, they add a little bit of extra cocoa butter, which is super expensive. It's one of the key ingredients that makes chocolate set. And the chocolate that I used earlier is just a coating chocolate, so there's no need to add anything to the chocolate to help it set up. It should set just fine. And you can buy these in the grocery store, and you can buy them in specialty stores in coins, and just look for a coating chocolate, and it's sometimes called almond bark as well. And please let me know if you have any other questions, and if something comes up after the session today, send me an email or give me a call. I'd be happy to help you out. So we're going to get back to our bread pudding dessert. So we've got... Um, our raspberry sauce, which I did some dotting and it kind of came together a little bit. So we're gonna kind of turn that into a little bit of a flood here. It's not as thick as I wanted it to be. So since the bread pudding is more of a creamy dessert, I wanna add something a little bit crunchy to it. So I'm gonna add one of my kolachki cookies. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit of my whipped cream down that I made earlier. This is just heavy cream. I whipped it up on the mixer with a little bit of vanilla and some sugar. So we're gonna be adding some extra crunch to this dessert with our kolachki cookie. And we're also gonna be adding a little bit of fresh mint to give it some color. And to give the top of the bread pudding a little bit more of a finished look, we're just going to be putting some stars with the whipped cream to so give it some height, 
makes it look finished and it's going to add a little bit of texture. And what's nice too when you do these desserts with cinnamon in them, put a little bit of cinnamon sugar onto your whipped cream. So our dessert is coming together. There's just a few simple ingredients here that most of us have made before and you'll be sure to dazzle your friends and family. So I wanted to use a nice blackberry with this dessert and a little bit of blueberry as well. So I've got some nice big blueberries. Just going to be putting a few around my plate. And then the blackberries are nice if you cut them because these are a little bit larger and you can cut these in quarters and they sure do look cute. And we'll be putting some of these around our plate as well. We're going to finish the top with a little bit of blackberry and a little bit of blueberry. Now we're going to be sprinkling some of these quarters around our plate. And this is our finished bread pudding dessert. Super easy dessert to make. You'll be sure to dazzle your friends and family. There's just a few simple ingredients and it looks so finished and just like a restaurant style dessert. So knowing that we're going to set this aside and we're going to work on our cheesecake dessert. So for our cheesecake dessert, it's going to be a little bit more of a composed dessert. I've got a little bit bigger plate. I've got a few different items here. So it's going to be a plate that maybe someone might share. So knowing that, we're going to get started. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a simple line across the plate with our chocolate sauce. We're going to take it all the way across. I just pipe my chocolate on. You can pipe your chocolate and pull it, or you can dip your brush in your chocolate. Okay, and once in a while, these brushes do you come out. The bristles do you come out of the brush. So if you see one on your plate, make sure you grab it. You might mess up your sauce a little bit like I'm doing here but you want to make sure that you get it off of there. And it's a little stubborn, it's not coming off, but we'll get it. You can even wash your plate and start again, which I think we're gonna to have to do. So let's go over to the sink and wash our plate and get our bristle off of there. Okay, so that took a little extra time, but we don't want someone to eat the bristle from the brush, and brushes will be brushes and bristles come off sometimes. So make sure you're looking and make sure that you're grabbing your bristles because safety always comes first. Someone could swallow that, they could choke on that bristle. Okay, so we're gonna start again, and we're gonna be hopeful that we don't get any bristles on our plate. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm taking my line all the way across the plate. Kind of a nice look. And then we're going to be putting our cheesecake and our chocolate cake on the plate. So I've got my cheesecake and my chocolate cake. I'm going to alternate these. And then I've got my cheesecake. I'm going to put this one up here and my chocolate cake. So I saved a little bit of place, a little place in the middle. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to put a nice scoop of ice cream. I've got some raspberry ice cream that's going to go really nice with this. I've got a little bit of cookie that I'm crumbling up. The shortbread cookie that we were using, you're going to want to crumble up these cookies. It's going to help your ice cream or sorbet stay in place. And we have another question. Is that chocolate syrup you're using? 
it's a chocolate the question is is a chocolate syrup that I'm using it's a chocolate sauce and you could use chocolate syrup that'll work just fine just make sure it's not too thin okay so we're going to sprinkle our little bit of cookie crumb here and then we're going to be putting our raspberry sorbet on the plate So I've got medium sized scoop, which I'm going to be using for the sorbet. I'm going to dip my scoop in some warm water. It's going to help it release. And then we'll have a nice dessert. Sorbets, they add a lot of color. And this dessert is a rich dessert with the ice cream and the chocolate, and it's going to add a nice refreshing little twist to the dessert. It's a nice composed dessert. We're going to finish this one up with some raspberries as well. Just a few on the plate. And also a few blueberries. We're going to put a few blueberries right here on our cheesecake and a little bit of fresh mint to kind of finish it off and you have a super beautiful composed dessert it's on a nice spacious plate you've got your cheesecake and your cake dipped in ganache and a little bit of sorbet for something refreshing so knowing that let's set this aside And as soon as our chocolate decorations arrive from the refrigerator, we'll be using them on our next dessert. So our next dessert is just going to be a super simple chocolate mousse dessert. So I was able to find this plate, which is really cute. It has a big rim on it, and it's actually a very shallow bowl. So if you can see it, super cute for doing anything in here you could do like a small tasting entree you could do a small salad but i've chosen to do the chocolate mousse i just made the chocolate mousse from the recipe database and i let it set up a little bit until i could pipe it and then i went ahead and filled the bowl and this is super easy dessert. You can put some sauce on the bottom. You can do this in so many different flavors. So I'm going to use one of the cookies on here that I made earlier. So now that our cookies have set with the chocolate on them, I'm just going to be piping just a little bit of whipped cream on here for a little bit of an effect. So I've got this nice long cookie that I've dipped in chocolate and I'm just going to lay this across the dessert. So you can see it's super nice effect. It's going to add a nice little crunch to this dessert and it's going to be a crowd pleaser. Chocolate desserts always are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of strawberry on here as well. So I've got kind of a medium sized strawberry here which I'm just going to fan across the chocolate mousse. And this is just a super simple dessert. Few components, nice strawberry finish with the cookie. And a little bit of fan strawberry just finishes it up. You can also dust the rims of your plate with a little bit of cocoa powder. It can get a little messy, but it's a really nice effect. So I'm also going to be putting a little bit of mint on this plate. And this is just a simple chocolate mousse. Maybe we'll put a little half of a blackberry, or I've got a small whole one here. I'll put a little blackberry on there too for some color. So these are some things that you can do with some of these cooler plates and bowls. And as you can see, it was super easy to make. Just dip my cookie and I just use a little chocolate mousse. So this is another plate up for today. And next we're going to be plating up the opera cake. So since the piece of opera cake is just a little bit bigger, I kind of chose this larger plate. You 
And we're going to be using some chocolate sauce for the opera cake. And what we're going to be doing is just putting some dotting. And your plated desserts are just an expression of your creativity. So please have fun with them. Let me know what you're doing. Please send me some pictures. I would really love to see them. And when you're doing your plate up dessert for your final photo for your assignments, this is the time that you're going to take to show your work off, all your hard work. You did all the grocery shopping, you did all of the baking, you decorated, you cleaned up, and this, just take your time on your plate ups, please. They're super important, and it's just your time to shine. That's what you did. So I'm just kind of doing some dotting around here. I'm choosing the circular because I have the, um, the opera cake, which is a square. And I wanted to put a little bit of raspberry on here as well for just a little bit of extra color. I'm just doing a line. And then we're going to be putting the opera cake on the plate. Super pretty. Like I said, this is just a classic dessert. It's really just a mocha mousse cake, and sometimes you'll see them with these decorations, or sometimes you'll see them with opera actually written on them. And I've got a little bit of chocolate ice cream that we're going to be putting on this plate as well. So I'm going to crumple up a little bit of cookie again. So the chocolate ice cream doesn't slide all over the plate. If you're doing this in a restaurant or serving it at home, you're going to want to do that. So otherwise, if it starts melting the chocolate, then you're going to have your chocolate ice cream sliding all around. So the cookie adds a nice little crunch. So what we're going to do is we're going to be putting a little bit of chocolate ice cream on here with the same scoop that we used earlier nice size and we're getting ready to wrap up for today so if you have any questions be sure to get them in otherwise you can give me a call or send me an email and I'll also be on the chat when we're finished so if you want to wait for me for a moment if you've got any questions that'll be great so we've got a nice little scoop of chocolate ice cream to go with our opera cake and then we're going to be putting just a little bit of whipped cream. And we're going to be putting one of those chocolate decorations that we made earlier. I'm going to make a little room for the tray. So here they are. They're very well set, as you can see. And they easily peel off the paper. Just be careful with them. I've got one here. And the grid is super cute. Sometimes they do curl up just a little bit, but that's OK. That's the beauty of the decoration. And I'm going to be using this swirled one. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be sticking this right in my cream. And it just finishes off the dessert. It makes it so elegant looking. It's a nice touch to the opera cake. Let's put a few raspberries on here too. And we're going to be wrapping up our plated dessert session for today. And I'm happy you were able to join me. Please give me a call or send me an email if you have any questions. Get those assignments in so you can get closer to your graduation as well as your iPad raffle. And we'll see you next week. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.